How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, time for another comic book haul. I got a couple of batches of books here that I just got in recently that I picked up off of some online auction sites. So I thought I would do the video and show you the covers and basically what I paid for them. Um, first one here is the Droids Star Wars Special uh, from Dark Horse number one. This one I picked up uh, for $1.50, and then also from the same auction house, I picked up Donald Duck Adventures number 11 from Disney Comics. I just thought that one was pretty cool because it's an homage cover to um, an old Mad Magazine um, issue back when they were uh, comic book sized. So I thought that was kind of cool. I picked those up, and then in the same auction uh, house, I picked up a couple of uh, Marvel comics. I got The Amazing Spider-Man Skating on Thin Ice with a cool um, Todd McFarlane cover. These are basically public service announcement type comics about uh, stuff about safety for kids. So pick that one up, number one. Number two, Double Trouble. Uh, number three, Hit and Run with Ghost Rider about bicycle safety. And then number four, Chaos in Calgary. Um, so I guess that was that's the set of those. Um, and then also I picked up this Venom. Tooth and Claw versus Wolverine number one. It's a four-part miniseries, I believe. Uh, they didn't have any other ones, but I did pick up the first issue, and uh, those were all uh, $5 a piece. I don't know if I mentioned that uh, when I started. But anyway, so that's the first batch. Then from another auction house, um, I picked up this batch. Now, these are basically... Um, I spent $100, but some of the books were like $0.35. Cents. Some of them were $1. Some of them were $6. Um, but it basically breaks down to $4 a piece for what I have here. So I picked up some more Married with Children comics. I got a number one with a photo cover. I got a number two with an art cover. Number three with an art cover. Uh, number four with a photo cover of Kelly Bundy. And here's a number six with another photo cover. And a number seven with a cartoon cover of Kelly. Uh, so that was all the Married with Children. Then I got this Spawn the Movie adaptation comic with a cool uh, photo cover of Spawn from the actual movie. And again, these break down to $4 a piece. So I got those. I got a couple of Gen 13. I got a Gen 13 3D special. Um, number one, I got that one. And I also got this one. Um, I think those were one of the cheap, these were some of the cheaper books I got. I think these were like 25 cents a piece. Uh, I picked up this Gen 13 bootleg number 11, but I picked that one up because Gen 13 bootleg number 18 was in the same lot. So this is the more uh, sought after uh, issue with the Bruce Tim artwork on the cover. So I picked that one up. I also got uh, Dark Horse Comics Paul Dini's Jingle Bell number one. Tis the season for that. Uh, this one I never saw before. Um, it says, it's Kushkin's number one from Archie. It says number one of a four issue series, but I believe it only went into three issues. So, um, but again, I'm picking up a lot of cartoon, kids cartoon comics. So I saw that one. I bid on it and won it. I don't think I, I don't think that one was actually $4 either. Um, I got Josie and the Pussycats from 1993. Number one, this is only a two-issue series um, from Archie. I think that came out when the movie came out, The, I think, maybe or maybe not. Um, I got a Treehouse of Horror number two from Bongo. Let's pull this out a little here. Um, a couple of Felix the Cat comics. This one is from Felix Comics, first issue. And then I also got the uh, <clears throat> Harvey Classics Felix the Cat number one. And also number five. I used to always enjoy watching Felix the Cat when I was a kid. Um, got a couple of Elvin the Chipmunks here. I got Elvin the Chipmunks number one from Harvey. And also number two. This series only went up to five issues. So um, I'm going to try and have to track down three through five. Um, Archie Comics did a Christmas Spectacular Cartoon Network. Pick that one up. Uh, here's another one I never heard of. Um, Troll Patrol. 
but they only did one issue. So there you go. That's complete. I got a couple of Back to the Futures here. I got number one. <clears throat> and number two, this series went four issues too. So um, I got to track down three and four. And then I got both of the issues of the mask adaptation with photo covers of Jim Carrey. So I was pretty happy to pick those up. And then the last bat, one out of this batch, <clears throat> excuse me, is an Amazing Heroes uh, magazine. It's number 100. And it's a tribute to Jack Kirby. I guess that's when he had passed away. So they had a bunch of uh, comic book creators pay tribute to him. So I just thought it was kind of cool to pick that one up. Um, then this, this next batch is um, a group of books that I spent $21.99 on. So they're basically break down to $1.15 a piece. And this one is in there, Captain America, um, number, well, this is an actual giveaway from Chevrolet. I didn't know they did this either. I think this is a, a reprint of the first Winter Sol first appearance of Winter Soldier. It must have been a tie-in with the movie. So uh, that was $1.15. Mighty Thor, Lord of Asgard, number 50. Uh, Mighty Thor 221, Battling Hercules. Uh, Random Marvel Age, number 61. The Hawkeye, Dark Rain Haw Hawkeye miniseries, they got all five parts. So, number one, some nice covers. Number two, I'm going to have to, I have never read it, so I'm going to look forward to reading it. <clears throat> Number three, uh, number four of five, and number five of five. And then the real reason I got the lot, other than that promotional comic, which is what I collect a lot of, is some of these Marvel Legends. And this one I've been trying to find forever. I've been watching, I, I uh, can't find it, um, or I, 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 once I found it existed, I've been looking for it. So anyway, here it is, Fantastic Four reprint number one from the uh, Marvel Legends little uh, comic scene statue thing they did. Um, but it's got a beautiful Art Adams cover on there. So I was really happy to pick that one up for $1.15. And these are some more of these, like like kids comics, some of these Marvel Legends reprints are kind of pricey and hard to come by. So um, this had a, a couple of them in the, in the lot. So... Um, that one was in there, Fantastic Four number one, which was what I was happy about. Marvel team up with uh, Moon Knight. This one is kind of a hard one to find. That's kind of pricey. This one too, Doctor first appearance of Doctor Strange reprint. Um, and then Iron Fist number eight reprint from Marvel Legends figure. And then Avengers number 87 uh, with the origin of the Black Panther um, was in there. Then this one was also in there, Moon Knight number 25, uh, crossover with Ghost Rider. And then, um, a few random uh, Dark Avengers. So Dark Avengers number four. Dark Avengers number five. And then this random X Men Fairy Tales three of number three, number three of four, um, a Captain America anniversary magazine, seventy fifth anniversary magazine was in there, so a dollar fifteen cents. And then these were in there. I don't know what these are. If anybody can tell me in the comments or know where these came from, let me know. But they are some kind of like prints for something. It doesn't really tell you where they're from, but there's a Thanos in here, a Thor. They're pretty cool. Uh, Black Widow, and then uh, Wolverine, and then a Black Panther. So again, I don't know what these are or what they came from or what they go to, but if anybody knows, let me know, because um, I'd appreciate some uh, info on that. Just random uh, art prints. Uh, then the next batch here is another one. I spent $40 for this batch, 
And basically these comics ended up being a dollar 48 cents. So, and what this is is basically a bunch of She-Hulks again. So um, I'm trying to complete this run of She-Hulk. So here's 14, um, number nine. Uh, number 10, the nice uh, titanium cover. Here's a number 11. See, I, I had I didn't have this one, but I had number 10. So, um, but basically, I've been on the lot and won it for the $40. Here's number 12. Some really cool covers, some Greg Land covers coming up in here too. Number 17. So, a lot of these I, I have already, but. Um, some of them I needed, so again, just bid on the lot and won it. So uh, there's number 23, and number 24, 25, 27. I don't mind having doubles if they're only like a dollar fifty. Uh, number 28, some a cool cover there. 30. 31, 32, 34. Like I say, I think I sh I've shown these off in other videos because I, I, I keep buying lots of uh, She-Hulk. Then there was some Hulk in there, the Red Hulk. Uh, number seven. Number eight. These two, I have, uh, this is doubles, but again, they were all in the same lot, so what do you, you know, what are you going to do? Number 13, I don't think I have that one. And then a run of Spellbinders here. Uh, just like a one-off little mini-series there. I think these kids are witches or something. Uh, number one of six, the whole series, I got the whole mini-series. Two of six. Three of six. Four of six, five of six, and six of six. And then the last one that I, oh no, a um, couple of uh, random uh, DC millennial, millennium editions. I got Detective Comics um, and also Detective Comics 327, which is um, the new look Batman, I guess. And then also, um, I bought Fun and Games number eight. Again, I've got the whole run of these, but when I see them super cheap, I think I spent I I bid a dollar on it. And nobody bid a, bid on it either, so then I just won it for a dollar. So uh, happy to pick that up. Maybe I'll try and do a second set of those. Um, and then the next batch is some Batman. Uh, well, let's do those last. I got another batch of comics here. These were um, ended up being forty three cents. It's a very it's a very random lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, basically picked it up for this one here, Tomb Raider number nine. This is an Andy Park sketch variant cover. I just thought that was really sharp. Um, and then SpongeBob comics number three. This one's not in the best of shape, and I already have this one, but. Me being a postal carrier, that one always that one always uh, speaks to me. And then too much coffee man number one was in there. I'm always happy to get first issues in there. Also, faith number one was in there from Valiant. Um, phonogram, the Im immaterial girl number one was in there. <clears throat> the little depressed boy, never heard of this, but here's number one. Number two, you never know with these things. Number, here's number three. Uh, here's Too Much Coffee Man, number five. A random Robotech from Kamiko, number 10. A random Turok Dinosaur Hunter, number 12. Another here's a random City of Heroes. This is polybagged. I don't know what what's in there. Uh, Far Sector number nine from DC. <clears throat> Gunsmith Cats: The Return of Gray number one. 
uh, gunsmith, the other gunsmith cats. This is number eight of 10. <clears throat> Another far sector. Here's number 10. Uh, free comic book day kaboom special. <clears throat> uh, Shadow Man number 10. Again, I, these are very random. Uh, Death Blow number three from Image. Sav Savage Dragon number six. <clears throat> um, Sandman number 55. X Factor number two. Rune, number seven. A couple of Star Wars Lego things here. Um, Yoda Chronicles, whatever that is. Halloween, Comic Fest, Scooby-Doo Team-Up, number one. Random Skylanders, number 12, from IDW. Uh, Deity from Hyperworks, this is number four. I remember that I, I, I have the image version of that. Uh, Extermination, number two, from Boom, second print. Um, the Hypernaturals, number five, from Boom. Then a bunch of Pit comics. Here's Pit number seven. Pit number six. Pit number five. Four. Uh, Archie versus Predator, three of four. Archie versus Predator, four of four. The new Omega Men, Omega Men, number two. The sixth gun, number 15 from Oni Press. Got to have a new universe in here. Psy Force, number 17. Uh, here's back to Pit. We have... Number half, if that's really a number, number one, number two, and number three, and number eight, and then a random hero illustrated. This one is volume one, number nine. That was in there, so I guess that person really enjoyed um, Pit. And then the last batch is some more um, Batman Gossip Adventures. I'm going to need my little Spider-Man thing here because these aren't bagged and boarded yet. <clears throat> so let me put this up here. So I ended up getting a big batch of these. These ended up being $2 a piece. I spent, um, I believe it was $60 on the whole lot. So there's a, a, quite a few in here. Some doubles that I already have, but here's number five. Number six with Dead Man. Number seven. Number eight. And number nine. Eleven. Twelve. Here's another, look at it, here's 13. There's another homage to the Mad Magazine. Um, just like the Donald Duck Adventures. How ironic. Here's number 16 with Alfred on the cover. Got number 18. 19. 21. Again, these are hard to come by in decent condition because it was considered a kitty comic. Here's number 22, 24, 34, 39. And then um, this other Gotham, this is Batman Gotham Knights. So there's a number 36 in here, a 44, some nice Brian Bolin covers and a number 45. Look at that man bat. It's pretty sweet. And then the last comics in the batch were kind of the ones I were I was eyeing and looking to 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 buy the lot for. Um, it had uh, Gotham Adventures number ten with the Harley Quinn cover. Gotham Adventures number fifty. 
nice cover there. I think that's um, oh, that's a Darwin Cook. And then I picked up the whole Gotham Girls miniseries, one through five. <clears throat> so um, I have this set, but I was missing this one. So there's number one. I was missing number two with Poison Ivy. I have number three already with uh, Harley Quinn. Uh, number four with, uh, who, what's her name? Montoya. And then number five with Batgirl. So there you go. That's my batch of comics that I got this time. Um, I appreciate everybody staying till the end and watching. Um, thank you all, all the people that have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, I really enjoy the comments uh, that people leave me. So feel free, like I say, if you know anything about those art prints, go ahead and leave me a comment. Um, other than that, Again, hit the notification bell um, to find out when I do uh, n another video. Again, I try to do them weekly as, if I can. This is the busy time of year at the post office, so I don't know if I'm be able to do them th uh, weekly for the next couple of weeks, but we shall see. Just stay tuned. Um, but other, again, other than that, thanks again for watching. Um, good luck out there hunting for comics, and I'll see you all next time.